Alta Natural Gas Storage, an Alta Gas business, is helping provide Nova Scotians with clean, affordable, and reliable natural gas year-round. Storing it in the summer, when prices are low, will stabilize rates during winter months. To do that, we're building an underground natural gas storage facility near Stewiak, Nova Scotia. We're creating caverns from ancient, naturally formed salt deposits that sit about one kilometer below the surface. This site is ideal. The salt formation, proximity of water for solution mining, and the nearby Maritimes and Northeast Pipeline make it by far the best option. Storing natural gas underground is a safe, reliable, and proven method that has been used for decades. We've commissioned extensive environmental studies, met all regulatory requirements, and listened and responded to community members. We'll build and operate the storage facility in a way that respects the watershed, wildlife, and communities around it. So why are we using salt caverns to store natural gas? Well, for the past 50 years, they have been a proven method for safely storing natural gas in Canada. In Nova Scotia, it will provide customers with clean, affordable, and reliable natural gas year-round. By injecting it into the caverns in the summer when prices are low, Nova Scotians can access natural gas to heat homes, schools, hospitals, and businesses at more affordable rates in the winter when demand is higher. At Alton, we're using a closed-loop system to move the water into the existing salt formation, slowly dissolving the salt and creating caverns for gas storage. Here's how it works. We will pump tidal water from the Shubenacadie River to the salt cavern and cycle the water into the salt formation through a well to dissolve the salt. As the salt dissolves, it creates brine. The brine is cycled back up the well, leaving an empty space for natural gas storage. The brine is then pumped into a holding pond. The pond allows for the controlled release of the brine into the estuary's outflowing ebb tide. The brine will be transported from the holding pond through two underground pipes, then slowly released through several perforations into the mixing channel where it will quickly mix and dilute with the tidal, brackish river water. At every step of the process, from intake to discharge, Alton will be using monitors, pumps, and other safeguards to ensure the salinity levels are within accepted ranges. We are also able to shut the system down quickly and completely if need be. Adding brine into the existing tidal cycle is a tiny, temporary addition to the river's natural salinity. And once construction of the caverns is complete, no more brine will be released into the river. The Shubenacadie estuary is controlled directly by the highest marine tides in the world. Twice a day, 55 million cubic meters of tidal water flows into the estuary from the Bay of Fundy, then back out. Four million cubic meters of this tidal water flows by the Alton Channel during each tide. The brine that will be released during cavern construction will measure no more than 5,000 cubic meters per tidal cycle. This is only a tenth of 1% more than the river's standard volume at this location. We commissioned aquatic scientists from Dalhousie University, along with oversight from the Department of Fisheries and Oceans, to study the estuary. After more than 10,000 hours of research conducted over eight years, plus an independent review of the science that included representatives of the Mi'kmaq of Nova Scotia, the conclusion was, fish and other animals that live around the Alton site, such as the popular striped bass or American eel, will not be affected by the small amounts of brine being released. Still, we want to be absolutely sure that even a trace change in salinity will be safe for the fish in their habitat. So we will continuously use a state-of-the-art system to monitor the river during cavern construction. This system automatically adjusts to ensure the salinity at the release area is never more than seven parts per thousand above levels in the river. At no time will this be more than 28 parts per thousand. Even though salinity levels in the river sometimes naturally exceed 28 parts per thousand, Alton's automatic shutdown valves immediately stop brining any time it reaches that level. And to protect the striped bass, we will immediately shut down activities when their eggs are present in the spring and stay shut down for 24 days. We also built a thick rock wall called a gabion wall to keep fish and small organisms from the intake pipe. 
This thick wall provides a safety barrier that screens the water through very small openings, which prevents fish from being drawn into the intake pipes. And we're collaborating to develop an ongoing river monitoring program. Natural gas and natural gas storage have an important role to play, helping provide Nova Scotians with clean, affordable, and reliable natural gas year-round. The team at Alton is committed to developing these caverns responsibly and to preserve the Shubenacadie River for future generations.